I believe that the European Parliament is louder than ever uh, in this regard. Um, and of course, we still have a long way to go. Um, I think uh, uh, there's a lot of really important uh, uh, action already happened. Uh, not just from the side of the European Parliament, because of course in that, hand, in that sense uh, we don't have enough tool in our hands, but uh, in cooperation with the, with the Commission, especially uh, since uh, Helena Dali, the Commissioner for Equality, started to work and she also created the very first uh, uh, LGBTQ strategy um, um, ever for Europe. I think it's already a good political signal uh, and, and a really important uh, uh, st standing up for, for uh, equality and equal rights. Um, however, it's still a, a long way to, to go and I want um, the Parliament to be harsher in this regard and I'm really glad that I'm sitting in Renew Europe because it's uh, one of the top priority for my, for my um, uh, group. Uh, not enough, not enough. Uh, of course, uh, politics changing. Um, you can already see with this new term since 2019, uh, also uh, MEPs are refreshed. There's way more many women, for instance, in the parliament than before. But if uh, uh, we are looking at, uh, at that ethnically, um, it's still not as diverse as the European community, as, as the European po uh, population. So I believe that uh, we also have to, to, to work on it, first of all, in our home countries uh, and starting with our own parties uh, to, uh, to provide the same opportunities to run in elections uh, uh, people with different ethnic backgrounds, uh, sexual orientation, uh, uh, as well as gender. Um, uh, because at the end of the day, this is how also the society uh, can, can look at the representative and see the reflection of themselves. And I think it would be really important because at the end of the day, we are making decision regarding their life and they have to be, uh, they, uh, to be feel to be not just represented, but also uh, to emotionally feel that, okay, I can be also one of them and actually the person who is sitting there is, uh, is somebody that I can trust. <laughs> Well, it's a, it's a topic that we can talk a long, long time because unfortunately uh, um, there's still too much to do about uh, racism. Um, I was one of the uh, one of the member of the parliament who could work on on the European uh, Roma stra uh, strategic framework, and I think it was really important uh, um, uh, uh, success at the end to, that we could say it out loud and also the Commission build it in their strategy that uh, anti gypsyism is a special form of racism, um, and if I'm looking at that, that it was 2020 when we said it loud first. Uh, I think it was time. Um, uh, I think there's a, there's a lot to do about to, to, to make clear in Europe that racism is not something happening in the US or happening somewhere else. Racism is an everyday phenomenon. Uh, it's in all over in our societies. Um, and, and if we are looking at the right-wing populist movements, and unfortunately, uh, more and more became also in a governmental power, just like in Hungary, uh, which they are using uh, racist uh, political narratives, maybe not as uh, directly as uh, we only think about what racism can be, uh, but still uh, start uh, building up on, on the hatred feelings of the population uh, and not working against racism with the, uh, um, with the supportive uh, messages, but with hatred propaganda. Definitely, it's a, it's a really complex issue, but, uh, but um, uh, i always been critical towards not just the previous strategy, but also the strategy we, we, we just accepted. Uh, because although we fought very hard with my colleague Romeo Franz from the Greens, uh, it didn't uh, include any legally blinding, uh, biting um, uh, elements. And if a strategy is just a, a paper which is nice to have, then nothing going to change. There are many differences, but also similarities between uh, European societies and, and the US. I think um, um, this statement is a little bit of a far-fetch because uh, just a couple of weeks ago, uh, a similar situation happened with a Romani pe person. 
uh, it is exist. What is the Black Lives Matter uh, in the US? We can easily say that Roma Lives Matter uh, in Europe, but also we also have uh, a huge and uh, uh, growing uh, black population uh, and or, or or Muslim population in Europe, and they are facing um, uh, institution institutionalized racism uh, on a daily basis. Um, and and to say such a thing, it means that actually, like it's dealing the whole thing like racism is only among uh, the population, and the states are, are are perfect and they are protecting and they are uh, working according to all the strategies and rules and norms. Uh, it's not true. Um, um, police uh, actions always reflects on the norms of the local societies. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, in many, many member states, we can see in different levels uh, that uh, there are more um, uh, uh, police ac actions against minority groups uh, than mainstream societies. Our government uh, is not just amplified it, um, it make it uh, an, um, an acceptable norm to, to bring um, anti-minority um, um, groups narratives on a, on, a, on a state political communication level uh, on a daily basis. They always looking for uh, an enemy to fight against. Sometimes they create one like uh, uh, George Soros. Uh, or migrants in general, who, whatever it means, because they're never really defining it. Uh, or, but many times, unfortunately, really strictly uh, uh, communities that uh, that, can, that are present in Hungary, uh, visible, therefore um, also results lots of attacks against them, just like the LGBTQ com community, the Roma community, or other religious communities, as you mentioned. They creating many laws, which. Um, on, which are not used on a daily, daily basis. It's, they're only using that uh, in order to create an environment uh, where the political focus gets there. Um, it divides and polarizes even more the population. Therefore, they can always send messages to their voting base. Uh, whatever they're doing, it's only about to keep their power because uh, um, as they um, change the um, election, um, uh, law, uh, electoral law, uh, it's, it's enough for them to keep the two-thirds ultimate majority in the parliament. And this is why it's, uh, it's even more um, um, disgusting uh, that it's all about a power battle in Hungary for them. Um, and they don't care uh, that at the end of the day it can result real physical attacks and hatred towards those minority groups. Uh, it's all about political communication. Uh, my party, from the very beginning, we, we, we stood up that the reason of our existence is not just that we don't want to, to live in this hatred uh, and a country where freedom is evaporating on a daily basis and we don't want to move to abroad as youngsters to start a life, but also because we felt that we were not represented and, uh, by, by none of the other parties. Uh, we were questioning that they were not brave enough, even before the Fidesz government, before 2010, um, to stood up uh, for equality, equal rights. Um, and and our, all our policies from the very beginning focusing on that for us, uh, every Hungarians are equal, therefore we want to work on, uh, on, on uh, policy changes which uh, reflects on that. We don't want to go into identity politics, it has nothing to do with that, uh, because from a state perspective, there are citizens and citizens. Uh, we want to divide uh, religious issues from uh, governmental issues. Uh, we want to give the freedom of, of the churches uh, to, to, to do whatever they want to, whatever they believe in to. But the state cannot uh, uh, build on policies and, and, and taking away rights from any members of this community uh, on ideological or religious basis. Um, and, and, and this is why, from the beginning, we stood up that for us, each family equals the same, whether uh, there's a single mother, uh, a rainbow family, uh, or, or, or um, uh, multiple generation families, uh, even when they have no kids, or if they have kids, it's already a value in itself. Uh, this is why we are also fighting for, for um, 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 equal marriage for, for um, uh, the LGBTQ uh, community, uh, but, but also for the protection of, 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 of children. We believe that each children uh, should grow up 
in families where they are loved and protected. And I don't think uh, it's the job of the state to say who can uh, just uh, reflect as a good parent. We want to have um, a child protection system which actually uh, can measure who can, uh, uh, can be responsible as a parent and who is not, uh, regardless of their sexual orientation, their ethnic background or religious background.